Eleanor Cliff joins me now from here in Washington. She's a political columnist at the news website, The Daily Beast. So, Eleanor, the biggest takeaway, uh, obviously, from this hearing is the subpoena of Donald Trump. Significant, but will he even testify? What's at play here? It's very unlikely that he would testify. And if he did, if any of his previous encounters with the legal proceedings is he would take the fifth. But it is a very symbolic move that one six committee has taken, uh, indicating how serious um, his inv involvement in the lead up to the one six riots and his determination to basically uh, convince as much of the country as possible that the election was fraudulent and, and it was stolen from him. And so I think the committee did a good job of, of, of uh, demonstrating his intentionality, that he knew what he was doing. They, were in, they showed a number of clips that indicate that he knew that he had lost the election. At one point, he says, I don't want people to know I lost. He was embarrassed by the fact that he, that he lost. And uh, he condoned the violence. He did nothing to stop the violence. And there was some really compelling footage of the, uh, of the congressional leaders who were seeking safety and desperately trying to get the National Guard sent in by neighboring governors from Maryland and, and Virginia. So I think it, it was a, it was a, a, a jolting experience uh, as just weeks before Americans go to the poll here. And uh, the committee wanted to underscore that Donald Trump is uh, not a uh, figure of the past, that uh, he's very much involved in the present and, and potentially in, in, in our future. And they really portrayed him as a an ongoing threat to democracy. Well, I want to ask you more about that, Eleanor, because you did mention we saw a lot of new shocking behind the scenes video and even heard from some of Trump's former team testify that he knew he lost the election, as you said. But will any of that have any impact at all on the upcoming U.S. midterm elections? Do American voters even care about all of this? Well, I think the American voters are worried about inflation in the economy. That shows up at the top of any poll. But uh, concerns about democracy has now moved up. I think it's number two to the economy. So, yes, I think, uh, I think people, not everybody, are not going to change everybody's minds. Uh, this president has a significant hold on a good number of people in, in the country. But uh, if, if you lose a point or two, uh, that, that can make the difference in an election. So I think the, this was one of the most important hearings in American history. It's right up there, you know, with Watergate war hearings, with hearings looking into war profiteering, uh, church hearings into the CIA. I mean, this is, this is one for the history books. And, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not forecasting any, any election results, but they, they, laid, they laid out the facts for anybody who's willing to uh, acknowledge them and understand them. And, and uh, the participation of, of two prominent Republicans is, is significant. And one of the Democrats is not, is not running again. So I don't think you can say this is a, a partisan exercise. And again, uh, you know, sh showing the country uh, the, the, the views of 1-6 is, you know, it's very disturbing to anyone in this country that this could happen and that we really almost lost our capital to a mob, and that um, our president, who's supposed to be protecting everybody, kind of just sat back and watched it on television uh, unfold. And the people who testified were uh, Republicans. This is, was not, you know, a bunch of Democrats coming up to criticize the former president. These are his own people. Um, so I, I, I think it was a sig significant event, and you know, we'll see if it changes any people's any anybody's mind going into the uh, midterms, because there are a lot of people running on what we call the ele election denial. And uh, a number of them are going to win. They're, they're running in safe Republican seats for the House. And so th th this whole undercurrent of potential violence is, is, is going to continue in our right. culture. It's not going away. Eleanor Cliff, thank you so much for that insight. We appreciate your time. Thank you.